Morning, Ryan Fisher here, and you're watching my YouTube channel where I talk about stock investments, options trading, and finance in general. And lately, I'm talking a lot about uh, crypto investments using uh, technical analysis. So, in today's video, I want to show you how to set up trading uh, trade alerts for for some particular signals. So, here I am trading my mm, I'm trading Bit uh, Bitcoin perpetuals. Uh, like Bitcoin futures using technical analysts like um, uh, moving averages, Max, MACD and uh, relative strength index and uh, what uh, in like if you know some patterns that's nice but there's a problem you you need to sit uh, in front of your screen for um, most of the day to to enter the trade like like at this point I have been watching when there is gonna happen a pullback so I could uh, enter a trade and uh, there will be a pullback or or some uh, breakout but I don't know when uh, and I'm looking for uh, for a pullback using MACD indicator when it's gonna uh, be be lower than than the average right now this is kind of a flat trade nothing interesting happening here but soon soon it should be happen so and uh, we can use a trading view and trading view has a nicely built-in uh, future alerts which can be sent to to our screen to our email to our mobile and here i have uh, I have configured the same screen like uh, trading Bitcoin USD pair. I have the same moving averages uh, indicator here. I have well, I don't have relative strength index, but it doesn't matter right now. And what I want, I want to create a trade alert for MACD when it uh, it drops uh, below the average. Like in, if we look on the average, this is uh, I don't know. Let's say minus ten. And I want it to drop it a bit bigger, a bit more, and in case we will be in a bullish trend and we will have a huge drop, like it happened here, the Bitcoin price went up and then there is this pullback. And uh, this is like kind of a nice entry point. We could enter a trade. Well, may maybe it wouldn't. After all, it wouldn't uh, work out as expected, but in general, this would be a nice point to consider as enter. And uh, we can see that at that time it dropped to minus almost 30. Well, this is maybe too, too big. Uh, I would be happy with some minus 20, minus 18, uh, these points. But again, this is... Uh, I'm looking on the bullish trend, so on the crossovers. Uh, anyhow, so uh, and using trading view, we can set up a trade alert. I have actually set one for uh, moving average uh, Mac MACD, uh, and uh, here it's how it looks like. Uh, so I'm using the condition uh, MACD histogram. The value is less than. We can choose many indicators there. Is that less than minus ten? I have set and I have set. So show me a pop-up, it's going to beep on my screen and also send me an email in case I'm not in front of my computer. I will get an email on my phone and uh, when I will get this notification, I will instantly check uh, is this the time to enter the trade. Alright, so and yeah, so here it's how it looks on the email. Uh, I was like testing with some really small value but oh yeah this is how it looks like in the email and once we have this trade set up I can come to my trading platform in my case this is Derbit whatever you have you trade on your platform and I can enter my trade if I see uh, this is the good uh, good place also we could use those trading indicators with some trading bots uh, but this is an already another story. All right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the subscribe button, click the bell notification icon, not to miss an update, and see you soon. See you very, very soon.